Welcome to the World Baseball Association for the 2024 season and looking forward to another season of great baseball online. Uh, was we're going to take a look at and see if Florida would won the championship in 2021 when they defeated in California in six games. Are they able to defend their title after successfully beating Ohio in the conference finals in, in 2021 and then thwarting California and winning their second title and the first one since 2005? I'm going to take a look here at some of the new things in 2024. And here's our table of contents. We have the introduction that will sort of briefly explain what happened in 2021, uh, what the thought process was in the off season leading up to 2024. Expansion, which is always an issue every season. There's always this um, feeling of bringing in new teams or um, contracting other ones. We'll take a look at that. The broadcasting schedule, of course, and the new season awards that will be uh, introduced for the 2024 season. As we took a look at the introduction, when the 2021 season came to a close, Florida was crowned champion after disposing of California in six games. Fred McGriff paced the Marlins' attack with three home runs, but Dwight Gooden was named 2021 WBA Finals MVP after winning both of his starts and leading his, uh, Florida Marlins to victory. With the 2021 season over, many questions loomed over the WBA heading towards the 2024 season. Will online broadcasting continue for 2024? If so, will it cover regular season games in addition to the playoffs? The 2021 playoffs saw the broadcasting of all playoff games via Zoom, and the results were mixed given poor viewership, uh, viewership and the quality of the broadcasts. As we look at expansion, another dilemma heading into the 2024 season was expansion itself. The WBA had 44 teams in 2021, and would have loved to bounce the association with another four teams. WBA owners wanted to contract teams made from combined states or countries, but faced issues regarding the depth of talent at each of these teams. Will adding four teams create a competitive unbalance that can harm the competitive and statistical integrity of the WBA? Well, three years later passed, and eventually a decision was reached. After a comprehensive exchange between the WBA's commissioner's office and owners, it was decided that five teams would be added for 2024. The following teams were Australia, Curaçao, Kentucky, Rhode Island, and Virginia. Now, that meant that we had to contract a team, and to accommodate that 48-team uh, association structure, Appalachian State was contracted, while tri the Tri-State Americans were now recomposed of Delaware, Virginia, and D.C. Mean Washington, D.C., Rhode Island and Kentucky were added to the Northeast Division. Virginia was added to the Atlantic, while Australia and Curaçao bolstered the International Division. And here's the broadcasting, uh, regards to broadcasting schedule. Live broadcasts of the 2021 WA playoffs were designed to add exposure to a baseball league that pitted the best states and countries against one another. It was the next logical step, an expanding league looking for exposure and legitimacy. There was excitement knowing the WBA's best players were shown around the world on the association's YouTube network. In 2024, regular season games will be broadcast after 132 games. Every week, two games will be broadcast, one in the, Connie, uh, the Casey Stengel League, one in the Connie Mack League. There's potential to add more games, depending on the interest of teams, deeply involved in a hunt for a playoff spot up until the end of the season. So it's very possible that we could have two Casey Stengel League games and two Connie Mack League games um, in one weekend uh, if there is an interest and if there are good, solid um, playoff races to be had. The new season awards. New awards have been created in order to acknowledge not only accomplishments on the field, but in the dugout and the front office. The Commissioner's Office of the WBA has created awards for the best manager and general manager. These awards will be named in honor of men who excelled as field generals and roster architects whose contributions led to their organization's on-field success. Here are the official names for the manager of the year, executive of the year, the LCS MVP award, and WA Finals MVP. So we'll be awarding the manager of the year award for each league 
the Casey Stengel League Award, the Best Executive to Each League, the Branch Ricky Award. For the Connie, for the Casey Stengel League um, Championship Series, it will be the George Brett Award and the Connie Mack Championship Series MVP Award to Dave Stewart. These awards will be introduced and had to each recipient during the playoffs and at, season, and at season's end. And this is looking forward to an incredible year and hoping that we're going to be able to get something done. Until next time.